Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This is one of my most popular classes. It is the fun full body flow. In this class, we don't work with any props or anything like that, just you and your body and your mat. When you're ready, let's begin in a tabletop position. So set your hands and your knees. And we'll start moving through a figure of eight to warm up your wrists. So shifting forwards through the wrists and then back towards your knees. The wrists may feel a little sensitive in the beginning, so go slow. Find your breath. And then find your tabletop shoulders over wrists. On your inhale, dip your belly down, arch your back, gaze forwards. On your exhale, round your back, push the floor away, bring your chin to your chest. Keep that going. Inhale, the spine arches. Exhale, the spine rounds. Moving at the pace of your own breath. Good, one more, inhale, exhale, and back to tabletop. From here, tuck your toes and hover your knees off the mat so they're just a couple centimeters off. Then sweep your knees to the left and tap your left hand to your right knee. Back through center, knees hover, knees go to the right and then the right hand taps the left knee. Keep it going, sweeping from side to side. You can keep it slow or you can start to pick up the pace as you get a little bit more familiar with this movement. One more to each side. Okay, then let's add on to that a little bit. So come back through center, knees hover, swing your knees to the left. And then extend the right leg out to the side and then tap the foot or anywhere along the leg if you have really long legs. Okay, keep that going. You can start to add in a little hop as you switch side to side to begin building a little bit more heat in your body. Okay, one more to each side. And then when you're ready, meet me in downward facing dog. So pressing all the way back. Start to settle into position, slowly pedaling out the legs. Steadying your breath now. Beautiful, then look forwards, come forwards into plank pose and open out into side plank on your right. From here, bend your right knee, the left hand comes to the knee and start to twist your body. So your knee and your chest point up to the ceiling. Hold it there, press the floor away, inhale. Exhale, sit your hips down, staying in the twist. Then the left arm hugs around your right leg and you turn the head to look over your right shoulder. Nice deep breaths here, spine is nice and long. Exhale it out. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Good. From here, reach your left arm up. Press into your right foot, lift the hips, coming up into a sort of wild thing position. Inhale as you lift your heart, lift your hips. Exhale, lower the left hand down and step back into downward facing dog. Moving through that on the second side. So come forwards into plank. Open out into side plank on your left. Get steady here. And then bring your left knee up, right hand comes to the knee, start to twist. Point your knee, your chest up to the ceiling. 
Inhale. Exhale, sit the hips down, staying in the twist. Right arm wraps around your left leg. Gaze over your left shoulder. Nice. Slow things down a moment here. Good. Then reaching your right arm up, press the floor away as you lift your hips. Come up into this uh, wild thing position. Inhale here. Exhale, turn to face forward, step back to downward facing dog. Nice. Rippling forwards again, come back into your high plank. Open out to side plank on your right. Hold a moment to get steady, really feel for pressing the floor away. And bend your left leg, lift your knee, and slowly step your left foot forwards in line with your right hand. Stay in the twist, keep your back knee lifted. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, lower your back knee down, stay in the twist, but lift up. Good, then keep reaching back. Left hand reaches to catch your back ankle. Right arm reaches up, opening the chest to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, come all the way back through the twist. Lift your back knee. Step back to side plank. Moving into plank now and straight into side plank on the other side. Inhale, get steady. Then picking up your right knee and slowly stepping your right foot forwards, staying in the twist. Keep that back knee lifted. Inhale here. Exhale here. One more breath in. As you exhale out, lower the back knee down. Stay in the twist as you lift up. And then the right hand reaches back to catch your back ankle. Reach your left arm overhead, open your chest, inhale. And as you exhale, coming all the way back through that twist, stepping back into side plank and back through plank. Hold it here, press the floor away. On your exhale, come down through chaturanga, slowly down to your belly, inhale through cobra pose. And on your exhale, back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs, take a moment to reset. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose or mouth. Good. Then lifting your right leg high. Sweep your leg out to the right side and keep sweeping it forwards. Plant your foot just behind your right hand. And fold over your front leg in this uh, pyramid variation. Lay your head hang heavy. Let everything relax a moment here. Good, then looking forwards, shift your weight into your front leg. Bring your hands to prayer and lift your back leg. Warrior three. Keep your gaze focused on one spot. Holding three, two, and one. Lower that back foot down, lower your hands. Then turn both feet to the left side of your mat, walking the hands in front of you. And then walk the hands to frame your back foot and turn the feet to the back of your mat. Again, folding over your front leg here in pyramid. Let everything go, just a few moments here. Beautiful. Looking forwards, shift forwards. Bring your hands to prayer and lift the back leg. Warrior three. Hold it steady as you inhale and exhale. Hold for three, two, and one. Lower your back foot down, plant your hands. 
Spin your feet to the right side. We come into a straddle position and then fold all the way forwards here. And you can reach for the backs of your ankles or you may even like to walk the hands through the legs. Try to angle the crown of your head down towards the mat. And if you can rest the head on the mat, you can also go for that. If headstand is in your practice, you can work into a tripod or a supported headstand now. Coming up into a straddle position and then exploring any variation with the legs that you like. And when you're ready, come back down, finding your straddle. Lift your chest, walk your hands to the right side, framing your right foot, and then turn your right foot to face forwards and bend your right knee. You may need to edge your back foot a little further down the mat so that as you come up into warrior two, your feet are in the right place. Then settle in for a moment, relax your shoulders down your back. Nice deep breath in, exhale it out. Straighten your front leg. As you inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, lower the right hand down, reach your left arm up, turn the chest open. Breathing steady here, pressing through your feet. Beautiful, lower your left hand down, look down for balance. Then turn your back foot to face forwards and reach your right arm up, twisting to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together to help with any wobbles. Keep your breath slow and steady. Beautiful. Start to bend your front knee, lower your right hand on the inside of your front foot. Then open out your back foot again. Start to sink your hips to your right heel for Skandasana. You can use your hands for stabilizers here. You could bring them into prayer or perhaps open them out to the sides. Deep breaths in here. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. As you exhale, stay as low as you can as you shift to the other side. And then windmill the arms come up into warrior two. Reset your feet if you need to make any adjustments at all. And then relax your shoulders, settle in. Straighten your front leg, inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, lower the hand down, reach your right arm up, turn your chest open and settle into your breath here. Even inhales and exhales. Beautiful, lower the right hand down, look down for balance. Then turn your back foot forwards and reach your left arm up for your twisted triangle. Breathing steady, slowing things down. Beautiful, start to bend your front knee, open out your front foot, moving into Skandasana again. You can use your hands for support or find any variation that works for you. Nice, slow breaths here. And then staying as low as you can, switch to the other side, plant both hands and turn to face forwards. And then pick up your right foot and place it behind you. Open up into wild things, spinning your body open to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your right hand down, plant your right foot back where you lifted it, moving into your skandasana. 
and then over to the left side, plant your hands, face that end of the mat. Step your left foot behind you, open into your wild thing, spinning your body open. Inhale here. And exhale, plant your left hand down, step your left foot back where it was, finding your skandhasana. One more sequence, shift to the right side, plant your right hand, plant your both hands and turn to face this side of the mat. You can lower your back knee down. We'll start to settle into our lizard, so taking a little bit more time here. No need to force anything, just focus on your breath. With each breath, you may find that the pose gets just a little bit easier, a little bit more tolerable. Wonderful. Pick up your back knee, open out into Skandasana. Then shifting to the left side again, turn to face that side of the mat and lower your back knee down, coming into your lizard lunge again. Slowing things down here. Nothing to do other than hold and breathe. Okay, picking up your back knee, open back out into Skandasana. Shifting to the right side one more time, plant your hands, face forwards, and step back into plank. Push the floor away, hold for an inhale, and with your exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Settle into your hands and your feet. Relax your chin towards your chest. Then lifting your left leg high, open out your hip and bend your knee. And bringing your left knee to the back of your left wrist. Bring the foot out to the right side. Lower your back leg down into Pigeon Pose. Take a moment to square off the hips. So draw the left side hip back, right side hip forwards. And then walk your hands forwards. Create a little pillow for you to settle in. Slowing the breath down even more. And then notice as you spend more time here, if the body starts to open up. And if so, adjust yourself so that you can accommodate that space your body is making. Come up onto your hands and slowly step back to downward facing dog. Give the legs a pedal out if they've gone to sleep. Lift your right leg high, open out the hip, bend your knee. And bring your knee to the back of the right wrist. Sweep the foot out to the left side and edge your back leg down on the mat, coming into Pigeon Pose. Squaring off the hips by drawing the right hip back, left hip forwards, and then lowering yourself down into position.
Wonderful. Come back up onto your hands. And then sit over on your right side. Open out your left leg and bring the right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Place the left hand on the inside of your leg and then reach the right arm up and over, bending to the left side. Let your head relax, your neck relax. Nothing to do other than breathe. On your next inhale, lift yourself back up and we'll switch the legs so the right leg is extended. Left foot comes to inside of right thigh. Right hand on the inside of your leg and then reach your left arm up and over, bending to the right. Let your head hang heavy. Invite your body to relax even more. On your inhale, come all the way up. And then finding a cross-legged position. Nice long spine here, hands resting on the knees. Relax your chin to your chest, let the back of your neck lengthen. And then tilt your head to the left. So you find a deep stretch down the right side of your neck. And tilt your head to the right, stretching the left side of your neck. And lifting the head back through center. Bring the right hand to your left knee, place the left hand behind you, gently twist to the left. No need to force anything, even if it's just a, a very mini twist. Wonderful release, come back through center and then your left hand comes to your right knee, right hand is behind you. Gentle twist to the right, so it doesn't matter how far you twist. Deep breaths in, long breaths out. Beautiful, and release, come back through center. And we'll finish closing the eyes again if they aren't already. Just letting your shoulders drop, relax away from your ears. Taking this moment in stillness to observe what's going on in your body. Notice the effects of the practice, what feelings or emotions you may have cultivated in this last 20 or so minutes. As you sit with yourself here, take a moment to thank yourself for showing up, for giving your energy to the practice, to yourself. Thank yourself for showing up, putting in the work. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure. Namaste.